But now, you know, you took a little break. People probably don't know. For people that don't know, you was going for like a good year. You was going for some. Nah, yeah, and, and uh, this uh, I say what a couple months ago. I say I lost my I lost my Gmail trying to run. I I did some shit, and when I set up the security shit, I forgot to change it to my number, my new email. So I lost the I lost my email to my distro kid, my YouTube unreleased songs, unreleased videos, all type of shit. Like bitch lost mad shit, bro. Yeah. So that's so that's what you say. Nah, yeah. So like like now with me dropping a project, like my 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 distribution and shit, like all my earnings and shit, me changing my name. Everything under the stage name JD Demon, I gotta go through a whole process to get anything back from that. So yeah, yeah. So I had to start over with my my all the unreleased songs I planned on dropping. I had to do everything over, bro. New songs, new videos, new YouTube channel, new. Oh, you, can't, you can't put the songs out and keep the name and keep the name the same. Like I mean, not keep the name, but like drop the song with your new name. Yeah, I can re I can re drop it. I can do that, but it's just like, bro, I'd rather just do some new shit, bro. Yeah, it's a whole new, it's a whole new you, so. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, and just, just from then to now, I didn't, it's so much more that's added, I'll be going backwards trying to keep promoting it. At some point, I am going to redrop it, because I'm doing shit's hard. I'd be damned if I let them shit go to waste, like, yeah, at some point, I'm going to redrop it, but right now, I just like, you know what, it's a lot of a lot of politics, rumors, all types of I can't hear you. Like, I'm saying, it, it be so much shit publicly and surrounding the bitch name as far as business, these females, niggas, just everything, bro, music, everything. So I'm I'm working on a tape, and I'm just like, you know what? I'm listening to a couple songs. I'm like, all right, I got the first three songs. Anything else I record from here is just like, I'm going into beats. That's why it's called Based, in, based on a True Story. Yo, WL, what's good, brody? Like, it's, it's called Based on the True Story because each, each song, each song is an obstacle I had to get through, you feel me, in order to get where I'm at right now. Like, just the first song, the, uh, the intro on the, on the tape, that shit called Wake Up Tomorrow. That shit, mm -hmm. it, got, it got my son, it got my son on the vocals for, like, a good... Oh, that's some good shit. I just, yeah. um, Dirk and Herb, I seen them doing that shit. And I ain't gonna catch them. Too. I've been wanting to do shit like that, but I'm just like saying them niggas do it. I'm like, all right, that shit. That's it's just more reason, reason to do it. Yeah, it just gave me more reason to do this shit now. So I just took a video out of my phone that I had with me and him, and I just played that bitch over the mic. That's hard. I fuck with that. Nah, for real. And I just say like, say you, ind you you independent, right? So yeah, I'm I'm still I'm still independent, but I'm I'm also working with Clubhouse too. Mm -hmm. I feel you. Yeah, but more so. But at least you know if if once shit really start to get going, like all the money's gonna go to you and your and your son. You feel me? So that's some good shit. That's the good thing about it, cause like before shit, before this actual like, when I tell people this, people be like, "Yo, you bullshit." This is the first project I got real marketing agencies behind. Mm -hmm. All them other ones, bro. I just was dropping them shits. No bread behind it. No it's off the street. Just, just motherfuckers just fucking with that shit. And that shit that took a nigga out the state, down mm -hmm. south, up north, you feel me? Like, Everywhere. So I'm like, now I put that money into the marketing and shit. It's like, okay, the, it's going to translate more views faster, which means into me being an independent artist, what I put in, I'm trying to double what I put in. So if I put in 600, I'm trying to at least see 12 back. But yeah. I know I know, my, my motherfuckers genuinely fucking with the music for real. There's no telling where this shit could go, bro. Mm -hmm. the, the, the potential is, is no ceiling to it. It's just, you cut right your mic. Yeah, it's like the potential is just no ceiling to it, bro. It's just keep putting it work. And that's something I've been telling you since we first met. Like, as long as we keep yeah. putting it work, that shit is going to happen. So that's where you've been at. you just been working, really. Just putting in all that work. you just been out the way and doing Yo, what you I, do. I swear from December to... August of August of this year, I haven't recorded now one song. Yeah. October is when I, I October is when I start getting back into that recording, 
Uh, I did the interview with TMJ. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I did. I did. It popped out Tory Lowe events to show my face. I did a photo shoot with my brand, and that's another thing too. Like with my brand, I got an order coming in um, this this week and shit. So my tape dropping, I got a visual coming, and I got merch to go on top of that shit. And we got a show, and we got a show Thursday out Patterson, like bro. Shit, you might, you might as well do a giveaway type shit too with the merch. Listen up. Saturday, Saturday, I'm doing some shit with BCH. Uh, uh, I'm about to start volunteering there every Friday and Saturday. And oh, that, gonna, that's the um, that's people with the house and people from Trenton, right? Yeah, with the house and the shit. So what I was gonna do, I was gonna take my merch and get that shit away too. I was gonna donate. I was gonna donate my merch too. And just you feel me? Mm -hmm. But that's 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 the original reason of why I started the brand, not to that situation. But I seem I just see myself 40, 50 years old, and I got numerous of nonprofit organizations that's under my brand, and everything is free. From we can get you housing, we can get you clothing, whatever yeah. you need, type of shit. Like it ain't gonna be no no top notch expensive shit, but. It's going to be better than Section 8. That's the call. Hell yeah. It definitely is. <laughs> yeah, hold I'm on, trying, bro, to, I'm on, trying to build a new Section 8. Really good. How you pause it? Shit, I don't know. I guess you do. Wait, talk. You. You. You go. I can hear you now. Your voice was lagging. It, was, it wasn't going right. Nah, it's probably because I'm in this back. Not because I'm in a bathroom. I don't know. That shit be doing that sometimes. Nah, nah. My, my timer had went off on my phone. And I don't know if it fucked shit up. Man. Oh, weird, 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 weird. Weird. But, so, all that, I know you talked about losing your Gmail and shit. They need to do the name change. But other than that, like, what the name change mean to you? So, like, who is Javar? Aside from Jada Demon, like, Jada Demon and Javar, what's the difference? And what Maybe the name mean to you? Like, with the JD Demon shit, I, I I just sat down with like I'm like, you know what? To me, that shit was more some shit. I'm like, all right, everybody know well, what the fuck a bitch be dealing with day to day, but I still find a way to do what I gotta do and shine as, as bright as I can. So mm -hmm. I'm just like, all right, bitch be going dealing with hella demons and shit, fuck it, JD Demon. But then that's yeah, I remember started, you said that in our interview. Yeah, so Femi, I start seeing other motherfuckers like they change their name to that and then I lost the Gmail. I'm talking to my grandma. My grandma like, you should change the name to your first name. She she playing around, but I'm thinking yeah. about it like, ain't nobody, ain't, there's no other stage artist that I know that's just strictly, you feel me? So, mm -hmm. I'm like, yeah, that's shit. Don't nobody got that name. And you know people good for using the D-Man, you feel me? Like, so. Yeah, that's why I say it's so, it's organic. So it's like now, it's like, me, I'm, I've always been one to, I don't, want to put on no image and no shit like that. So me changing my name to my stage name is just like, I'm giving you me. Mm -hmm. So if my shit go up, that means you fucking with me. And it ain't just music. It's so much more that we're doing, bro. And it's your name, too. So it's just on top of that, like, they search yeah. up they search up the rapper you, they're going to get you either way. Like, just you. It's you. Nah, right. there. It's everything going to pop up. And that's, that's more sort of goal right there. So it's just like now... It's like, I, we were just talking on the phone before we got on the live about, I just made that YouTube channel yesterday. Mm -hmm. Even though, even though, okay, I just threw that song out there just to put something in the air, just to keep shit relevant, test the new YouTube channel out, test them Google ads out, test the marketing out. Yeah. It, the shit down there at 500 and it's been 24 hours. And which it's going to keep going up too. Yeah, which is not a lot, but the project projectory is going in if two three days from now that shit is at two three five thousand and that's just a play around we got big marketing behind this album and this video coming out so it's just like i see where it's going like you feel me it's just about it's only gonna go up yeah it's just about going up. especially if you're getting 500 views within a day bro then if you just keep thinking about the pace it's going it's definitely going to go up because usually people don't even get that many views on their first day like you get a good probably five. The way I see it, you get a good five to thirty views first day, first day. You feel me? But you get in five hundred, so really, you know that shit gonna go far for real. Nah, yeah, that shit gonna do something, bro. It's just, it's just now. It's just like my biggest thing I'm working on because I know I'm right there. Is just I'm all I always tell my peoples and shit like 
if I'm putting in this amount of money, I cannot do nothing under this amount of money. Especially when I have, especially when my numbers start backing me up, I'm booked up for sh for a numerous amount of shows. So if I say I need 500 to show, 500 to feature, that's really some cheap shit because the price ain't yeah. going to be that for that long. you going to try to, this is the thing, I can say, I'm going to say 500 right now, right? Because that's really the price right now. But when January, February comes, that bitch go five, five, 1,500, two bands, damn, bro, can I get in for 500 now? I tried to do the 500 when you feel me. <laughs> You wasn't trying to do it. Nah, it'd be like that. And that's why when I'm, if, if I ever do a feature and it's a certain caliber artist, I, uh, nine times out of ten, I pay for that out of my pocket, which I don't have no problem with because if I want whoever coming behind me or just in general to respect my price, I got to respect, respect another man's price. That's how you one hand wash another type shit, bro. Mm-hmm. It be a lot. It be a lot of artists complaining about oh they want too much for a feature. They want too much for this. But you think about it, bro. You only gonna get what you put in, and that's it. That's some real shit. You gonna get what you put in, and you gonna get a little bit of luck. You can't expect nothing if you're not doing nothing. If you're not doing nothing that further your career, you can't expect to get nothing. So. Nah, right, right, right. And it just be like it be like the features like. A lot of people ask me, like, damn, you've been doing this shit for a minute, but I've never seen you do too many features with nobody in this town. And it's a reason for that, because it's like, it's so much controversy and everything that, I do a song with this nigga, now I got beef with these niggas. I do a song yeah. with this nigga, now I got beef with these niggas. And, it, and I went through shit like that off of, I'm fucking with this label, and I'm hearing my name stir up in some shit. The whole time, the only reason I'm around these niggas, bro, is for business. We all do business. When we leave out this studio or when we leave this event, they go with their peoples. I go back home to my family, bro. So, yeah. third person not going to understand that. And some niggas don't even care. So, I don't even put myself in the mix too much. So, that's why I be like features. I be, I, bro, I know every nigga that, that's doing something in this town, bro. We all grew up together. But, you know, yeah. bro, the politics be so deep and, and so much shit be involved with the politics. It just be like, it's, yeah, it's hard. It's hard to work with your own city because yeah. you never know what type of time people want. And it's easier to work with people out of state than it is. Yeah, actually. yeah, yeah. Where it's like because motherfuckers out of state and be like he did a feature with Bull. Bitch don't care about Bull. Bitch don't know Bull. Like yeah, I feel you. Yeah. Nah, for real. That's just like another thing too. Is just I'm on my own time and just trying to be focused on strictly business, music, the brand, the merch. Just you. Yeah, bro. I've been I've been spent a lot of years fucking putting my putting everything I'm building up, putting my whole investment into jeopardy. Yeah. So I ain't trying to jeopardize that shit no more. And I got nigga got kid now too. So feel me, I can't need him. Like that's big to me, bro. Mm -hmm. Real shit. Like me so, being me being a father to my kid, bro. That's be big. That's bigger than being a real nigga to me, bro. I ain't lying to you. You were just talking about um how you made some like. Some choices that could have jeopardized it, like your career. So I want to know what mistakes was you making. So pre Javar, what mistakes did you make in your career before, and what you going to do differently now? So it just before I wouldn't even really say it was mistakes because it's just what I was. My circumstances of just what I have to do to even fun you hearing me coming out the speakers, fun yeah. me seeing you on videos like. I had the mindset where, you know, the typical shit, I'm going to get it out here. I ain't going to go to work. I ain't going to do work, X, Y, Z. I'm going to get it out here, whatever come with it, whatever come with it. I had that mindset, like, I used to be so fucked up, bro. I didn't care if I died tomorrow, bro. So, like, my actions was showing that. Mm -hmm. You feel me? It was showing that. So, it's like now, it's like, what really started hitting me, I'm like, damn, bro, I did my first show. Everybody know that bitch word from word. I'm in Chicago with these people. I'm in I'm in Jacksonville with these people. I'm in Carolina. I'm in New York. I'm you feel me? I go. I'm, I'm, I get to be around my son now. He get to he going to see the benefits of everything coming. It's like, bro, I can't. Can't you can't. With stuff like that, I feel like with stuff like that, it's hard to want to give up. Like you can't give up, especially like coming out of somewhere like Trenton. Like you said, you got to go to Chicago, Jacksonville. Niggas don't get that opportunity in trade. A lot of people don't get that type of opportunity. So no, when you get something like that, you got to keep it and just 
Go hard with that shit, for real, for real. Yeah, bro, and that shit be on my mind every second of the day because my grandma always reminded me, like, she always tell me, you the one that's going to change this family. And these is her words, like, mm. you, you, I don't ask her about nothing. I don't come to her about nothing about music, but. Yeah, you know, just be off some shit, bro. I don't ask her no shit like that. She just tell me, she just tell me, like, you the one that's going to change the family. You the one that's going to get us out of this because. You feel me? And it just be like, that shit hit me. Like, damn, like, not her just saying it. It's like I add up all the feedback, all the places I've been, and then I'm hearing who it's coming from. Because my grandma, she would tell me, if she she would tell me, like, if you want some bullshit, and that shit adds me to quit rapping and go do something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know your grandma going to keep it real. You her. feel me? So she play my shit every day, all day. She be in places. If she in Philly getting food or doing whatever, and something she hear my shit playing, she's gonna call me right there. Like, yeah, they playing this shit out Philly. She done did that shit so many times in so many different places. And yeah. it's just like, bro, this shit is 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 right in front of my face, bro. Bag in hand. Yeah, and that's why you can't give up. Just the fact that people in different places is playing their songs at that. So that's another thing. That's that's more motivation right there. Damn. He loading. You said what, bro? Oh, no, I was like, damn, 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 he loading. But I was saying, like, just off the fact just off the fact that you got people playing your music in different areas, and she able to hear it, like, feel me? That's nah, just fact, enough to bro, keep going right yeah, there. That's the thing, like, off of Apple and Spotify, like I said, I put zero dollars in before before I did this tape. Um, open mic and Sorry for the Wait is at 150 total. That's 150000 I done made about say about 1300 from both of them tapes all together and i never put nothing in on some real shit bro and this is why i tell everybody the same shit because i tell myself i was scared to invest money into it like on some shit like i go out and spend 800 on some having fun i'm with the bros type shit but i wouldn't put that same 800 into marketing yeah but you're scared it's not gonna go it's it's easier when you you going to have fun doing shit and you know you're going to have fun, but when you, you're not too sure on what's going to happen with this shit, it's hard to do some shit like that. Yeah, but, but, really, but, but that's, you, what come with, that's what builds the belief. And it's like... Yeah, that's what I was going to say, too. Really, you got to have that confidence in yourself. Like You got to feel like, bro, whatever I do, this shit going to help me any way possible. Even if it's just a little bit, it's still helping me. You feel me? Nah, in fact, and, that, and that's just that belief, that shit was something I had to really build them myself because it's like I seen everybody outside of me damn near love the music but when it come to yeah. myself I'm hard as fuck on myself like super hard like so family yeah. it, just, it just came you gonna be your worst critic yeah that's what it was bro like I think too hard on shit yeah I start you feel me I don't know bro speaking on the music you got this new tape based on the true story coming. So you talked about your tapes before, you know, being scared to invest. You on a whole new path, a new direction, got new management. You feel you doing shit differently. So what's up with the tape? How you feeling? You feeling good about the crowd? What's the vibe? Man, this, this tape, whether this shit do excellent, good, or great, that shit hard to me, bro. You. You, bro. You. You like it, bro. Yeah. Uh, I was wondering if you was still on that interview. Yeah. Yeah. All right. But now, nah, yeah, just like this tape right here, bro, it, it means so much to me because the shit that I've been going through this year and in the last year, bro, some people wouldn't even be able to be on this camera with you right now, bro, to yeah. explain or you feel me. So that's why this shit means so much to me because it's just like, all right, it's based on it's, it's based on the true story from whatever point I'm explaining, and then just song by song. I always been to artists to give them the ride, some shit you can ride to, some shit you can turn up to. Yeah. If you want to really think if you got some shit on your mind, I always been one of them type boys to really like express and that. That's shit how all type of genre. The open mic. You know I was fucking with open mic off the off the relatable shit. I was fucking with that shit hard. Same for sorry for the wait too. That's that's, that's what's gonna get niggas far when you make music that's universal that everybody can relate to or find themselves for that. Cause bro, that's that, like independent, insecure. We talking nah, red light, like, things grow, skirt, skirt. 
Yeah, bro, all of them shits, bro, and that shit be crazy because I don't, I don't record to. I'm about to record this so I could do X, Y, and Z, bro. I just record to clear my head, bro. And once yeah. I'm like, okay, it's time to drop something. I go to what I want to drop or what I think it's time to drop. But recording process, my nigga, you've been around a couple times. I'm not writing nothing. Yeah. Now. I don't need to hear the beat. The only thing that I need, play that shit for 10 seconds. Let me spark up. Punch me. Because it's mm -hmm. like, to me, bro, I'm one of them artists. The lyrics is already in here. So the beat just, the beat, that just means find the flow for the beat. It's just the feeling. You got to have the feeling. Yeah. It's just the feeling, filling out the beat and finding the right flow for the beat. That's the only thing I ever think about. And sometimes what I need to stop doing, I would not go my hardest because I don't want to look like a show off or I don't want to make motherfuckers but think it's like your I shit. Feel it's like your craft. You got to show off. I know, bro. And I, that's, the, that's what my grandma tell me. Like, I, I, I don't like making it feel like, damn, we trying to be better than me or damn. And even if it is that, I'm just being me, bro. Like, motherfuckers will take that shit. Like, motherfuckers can see you getting so much love and you could be so humble and that shit is still rub niggas the wrong way. Where yeah. up, like? But it's so like now, I was now it's, at the, it's at the point, bro. It's at the point, bro. Like, even though I just said all that, I'm at the point now where I don't care no more. I gotta, I yeah. gotta shine at my full potential in order for this shit to work anyway. Gotcha. So. Nah, real shit. It's like I was telling you with the um the shit with Trey and Talks and Trey Music Journals, how I said, like, when I said personally, I feel like my videos, I fuck with my videos. I'm proud of my videos. And I could sit here and say, I feel like my content, I got my own shit to where I shine different to them. I'm not saying I'm better than them, but I got yeah, different I type of shine for my shit. And it's like, you're not knocking them, but before you got faith in anybody else, you got to have faith in yourself. And if you feel like you're the best type of nigga making music, making videos, anything, then that's what it is. You, If you believe that shit, it's real to you. Can't nobody tell you what's unreal, what's not right to you. Somebody no, can't sway your opinion. Feel me? So if you think about yourself with that type of mentality, then you is what you think. It's point blank period. So that's why, like, my mom was telling me, right, she be she just be coming up on me asking me shit like what do I want to do in six months like what's my plan like what, what's your goal for real and she be like I, I be telling her like I'm trying to do something with like videos and producing and shit like eventually I'm trying to go into movies I want to be a director and she was yeah. like well sometimes you gotta look at shit from a different angle to have a different point of view on it because she was like instead of saying I want to be a director tell yourself you are a director you feel me I make videos I got a camera. A director is somebody that make content, that make videos with a camera. So already, I don't need, to, I don't want to be a director. I am a director. That's the next step. So if I believe myself that I'm a director, eventually down the line, everything gonna come. You manifesting everything that come into you. Yeah, man, so I stop, I stop saying I want to do this, that, and the third, and I'm just saying I am doing that. Like I'm there. I'm here. You feel me? Right. All right, that, but that, that, that's the honest truth, right there. Yeah. Hell yeah. So instead of saying like, feel me, what was you saying that you don't want to be too humble? Fuck all that, bro. You, I mean, you, you be trying to be humble. Fuck all that, bro. You got shit to talk. You spent a whole year off of this shit, and you coming back off the strength. Like you doing shit mad differently. You got a, a right to talk shit. You been a hibernation. When niggas hibernate, I don't know if you seen that shit, Dragon Ball Z with that nigga Goku. When that nigga was fucking healing inside the shit, just training. Before you yeah. came to fight that nigga, bro, that's what you're doing. You in hibernation, you cooking up right now. When you come out with the heat and shit, it's over for niggas. So you just gotta put yourself on a higher table, a higher plate, like a silver lining for real. Yeah, that's what I, I gotta just be firm. Like I don't don't get me wrong, I'm firm, but a nigga get a little too generous sometimes. Mm -hmm. like, that's why that's why now it's just like I'm going on these these next thirty days is to validate my my price with everybody whether you want to pay it or not but at least you gonna know don't hit me up unless you paying that yeah bro shit bro I, 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 bro I look at myself bro right now just cause shit not where it's gonna go right now I know who I am bro the music shit fire I'm a genuine authentic person that you're not going you can't run across me and be like yeah him and Jay got the same personality 
It's not that. Then on top of that, me starting my brand is off of me having feelings and emotions I was dealing with when I was seven, eight years old, nine years old. So it ain't about yeah. no fashionable shit. It's about spreading my shit and helping motherfuckers through America type shit. So, mm -hmm. and then on top of that, I'm one to fuck with different investments and, and just all different type of shit, bro. It's so much more to me than music. And that's why when I get in them big rooms, I build the relationships. I can keep them relationships because motherfuckers genuinely fuck with me. It ain't about yeah. my numbers. It ain't about when the last time I performed. It ain't about what label you under. It ain't about that, bro. I got big resources and connections that genuinely fuck with me for me. Mm -hmm. They know I don't ask them niggas for no bread. I don't ask them niggas for no opportunity. The most thing you won't hear me ask is for some game, bro. That's all I want. I don't want anything else that's, that's, that's additional. That's on yeah. end. And that's what's going to help you open new doors, too. Because the more you genuine, the more connections you make off of the strength and not no fake shit. If you really real, because you never know. The, somebody you can meet, you can meet anybody in the day. Be careful who you shit on, because you might meet them at the top. You know what I mean? like, no, anybody you meet, no matter who you meet, always be 100% genuine. Even if, you feel me, like, it might come off the wrong way. But at least you being real about it, you feel me? So no, niggas going to know you for being a genuine, thorough person. They don't gotta. They don't gotta. When they mention your name, nobody gotta be like. Oh. Yeah, that's what I try to keep it like. I try to keep it like that because I know the perception that that's around my name is as me as a gang gang guys nigga, a street nigga, a nigga that just you feel me. And bro, that's I'm telling you, that's not me. Them just reactions I have to you feel me. I did certain shit for me to survive. Just so, off the of life. Yeah. You said what? I said just shit that happened in life. Just life yeah, shit. just shit that happened in life, bro. But I thank God that I never got in too deep to the point where it's, 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 it's a non-constant blood war between now. It's been five, you feel me? Just, it never got, I ain't going to say it never got that deep because I done lost a lot of friends too that's not here. And to, and to touch on that, it never been no... We gang gang, we tied in, and yeah. folks passed away, and now we slide for bro time. Now with me, bro, it's like my friend Siani. Like I still just want to let me see. You probably even didn't see that. This was my fucking first tattoo. I got this bitch when I was sixteen. This the uh few months after the shit happened with her, but she wasn't into no gang shit, no street shit, bro. Yeah. She was just she was just her, bro. You feel me, genuine ass person. And I, I a good ass friend, loyal ass friend. We kids, bro, but we got different type of personalities that you don't run across too often, no matter of age. Yeah, you feel me, and my boy. Say, I, I ain't know her or anything, but I remember when that happened. I remember seeing it in the paper and shit. That was like the first actual like, like death I seen in Trenton. That was somebody young type shit. So I can only imagine like if that shit going yeah, on, bro. Like, yeah, we. Bro, that's like sis, bro. I call that sis, but that's not even blood. It's been so many nights, bro. And I say like she got one of them. She was born with an old soul, bro. No matter how many, yeah. how much partying we did, 15, 16, we could be in the front room. She had, we'd be talking from 2 in the morning to 6 o'clock. And mind you, she, fuck with, she, she was fucking with my man Wade. We never tried to kiss, hug, some sneaky shit. Nah, yeah. bro, she used to, I told you, my biggest thing, bro, is she used to give a bitch hella game. We used to yeah. chop it up about my situation, her situation, my boy, L.A., like, Malcolm and shit, like, that shit fucked me up, because bro wasn't no gang gang ass nigga, bro, like, so when that shit happened, it's just like, damn, being around the wrong place at the wrong time, and I'm like, hey, yeah. for him, he gave me the confidence to believe in myself. And that's why I love LA so fucking much because no matter what nobody say about him or anybody try to clown him or down him, bro, his confidence always been up here, bro. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, hold up. If he know that and he don't need no validation, why the fuck am I looking for validation from anybody? Yeah, you don't need validation from nobody. He put he 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 played the big part in that group when it comes to that right there. So three nights, bro. It was Thursday, Friday, Saturday. We threw three hotel parties lit, like three different groups of years and all. Like that next morning, we like, bro, we just going to chill. Tonight, everybody go home. We pop back out in the school Monday morning. We told bro, we dropped bro off at 10 o'clock. We said, bro, don't go nowhere for the night. 
just wait till the morning. I wake up. Mike tells me what happened. Da da da. Fast forward everything. Mike, wait, wait, just like, yeah, bro. He called me two, three in the morning to uh come hop in the wheel with them. And he said, shit, he called you too, but I don't know, niggas. I'm like, bro, my shit was dead all night, bro. Like, I yeah. was, bro, we just party three days in a row. I'm hella liquor in my body, everything. Like, so to wake up to that and have a mean ass hang hangover and just see that shit, bro. That shit be like, bro, what the fuck, like. Yeah, you were just with somebody type nah, shit. Nah, real, and, it, and, it, and it, it don't it don't be that. It's not the death because we all gotta die one day. It's the, yeah, it's, it's the, the memory, it's the bond. To me, bro, it be the people that it happened to in the way that it happened. Yeah, that's okay. my thing. Like like me, for instance, like I'm trying to branch off from a point where if something happened to me, I know is I played my part. I'm not innocent. I'm trying to put myself back in a position where. This is who I am. I done rebranded myself. All mm. that type of energy and activity, that's not me. I don't care who feels the type of way. Who say, bro, I can't fuck with you no more. You turned your back on the game, dude. I don't care, bro. My son, my brand, and his music is the most important thing to me. Yeah. And that's all that matters. You got a son. Times is different. You got a move yeah, that's different. Way, <laughs> that's shit way different. I'm telling you, it's a whole different ball game, bro. Bro, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't do nothing. If I even brought a kid into this earth, I'm not doing nothing. Y'all want to, y'all want to beef, do shit. We're not doing none of that because I'm not about to end up on my cell life. You feel me? That's what I be telling you. You got to keep going and just keep your head on the swivel, bro. You can't. Really, I got, I I have to keep my head on the swivel. And another thing I need to do, I need to leave these females alone. Yeah, bro. You got, you got, I heard, I heard, like, yeah, yeah. And it's just like my uncle been telling me, he's like, bro, you expect yourself to keep growing and growing and growing and still keep being accessible to everybody and think nothing going to happen. Mm -hmm. And when he put that shit like that, I'm like, I'm right. Like, I got to really value myself, understand what I'm worth, and understand what I can't be accessible to. I hope you're not trying to find no love in the town. Yeah, no, don't try to do that. It ain't worth it. That's rule mm. number one. You can't find hey. it. Don't try to look for hey, no hey, love. Hey, 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 neither, bro. On some shit, bro. I'm the type of nigga where I don't hate a relationship. I don't want a relationship. But me being me, I am a one on one type boy versus having 100 bitches lined up over. Yeah. But me knowing my brain and everything else is way bigger than that. So once mm. that's established, then I can look back on you. I'm 27. I'm 28. Now I can, you feel me? I just turned 22, bro. Everything that I'm doing, yeah. bro, is not too many people doing that. The age of 22 by themselves. I don't have no manager. I don't have no executive labels putting money behind me. I don't have no one in charge of the merch. I take the phone calls. I record the songs. I do the videos. I make the merch. I pay for the merch. I pull up to the shows. I, bro, I do everything, bro. Like you, brand. You feel me? So I'm trying. I'm trying to get that shit to a position where I can get employees to do certain shit to create. Yeah, time for you, you feel me? But once you get the team ready, like really with the remain focused shit, you could turn that shit into. Not even just the clothes and shit. You could get somebody to run that page, post any music video clips, your interviews, anything, your, your TikToks, anything, bro. You could just have somebody run that page on the side. Or fact, that's definitely the goal. I see you got the fan page, nigga. Like, bro, everything, anything works. Like, any type of promo is good promo. Bro. Nah, fact, bro. That's what I just be telling myself, just more content. Like, the past week, nigga, I've been posting shit there and there every minute of the day. Whether that's yeah. a post, real story, I just been mm -hmm. on it, bro. I just like this. I can't play around anymore because with me, it's like just off of my area alone, my hometown area, everyone knows who I am, what I do, what I stand for. But yeah. nobody, no, nobody supports unless they see a big cosign. Mm-hmm. And it always yeah. feel like that. I never trip. I never trip. Like, okay, the bull, the bull, who get love out here? When I'm with Big Woo or me and Big Woo post something, now rant, mad random motherfuckers from the town, like, bro, you this, bro, you that, bro, you this, bro, you that, bro, you this. It be like that with so many situations. Like, I done been a lot of places with a lot of people, but when I'm solely doing some shit or content being posted when it's just me, 
it's different from when it's something something bigger attached behind it. Like, and I'd be like, bro, that's that's business though, that, and that's life in a way too. Like, shit, people gonna be people at the end of the day. My boy, bro, my brother's being loud in the background. Nah, you good, you good. But yeah, bro, I feel like that's how it is everywhere. Your own city, I think we were talking about this too. Your own city not going to rock with you, but other cities were going to rock with you before they, your own people do. I looked yeah, at my yeah. shit, threatened the third third most people to fuck with me. The first ones is Baltimore and New York. Hold on, hold on, bro. But, um, yeah, we're going to get back to the tape. So with this release, how is it different from all your other tapes? Like, what's the vibes in it? What can we expect from this tape? You get, is it the same thing as open mic? I feel like open mic was more like personal shit, like a personal look into your life. While well, sorry for the weight was all like, it's a mix. You got turnt shit, but you got weightable shit too. So what's this tape gonna be like? Uh, if I could just give it a whole description on the total five song, it's just the growth more than anything. I say like, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Like with this tape right here, you see the developing as a, as just me, period. You just see me growing. That, that's what the motherfucker that's really going to listen to one through five. In action. Is it, is it, in a way, is it going to rap like a story? Because it said based on the true story. You're going to have a story aspect? Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Like, based on the true story, the interlude, that's like the first kind of story song I did. Because mm -hmm. I was thinking about it one day, and this is true, that it's true fact. Like, I had the tape done already, but I'm thinking to myself, like, how the fuck is the song with the, the title of the album is based on the true story, but I don't have that one song that go along with that exact title. Yeah. So once I did that one song, I'm like, okay, this is my first time I ever did a song like this. To me, that's my favorite on the tape. And that's based on the true story interlude. And... The second one I would say is the intro, uh, Wake Up Tomorrow, only because you got my son on it. And I probably play that part back a couple times just to hear it. Yeah. You heard you heard um heard new album? Hell yeah. I, I, that's like the album of the year to me right now. I'm you, to. you you listen to um Outside Looking In? I ain't get to listen to the whole thing yet. I'm still stuck on four songs that I keep playing back to back. Bro, play Outside Looking In. That's a good story shit. You know her blood for his stories, like nah, facts. Is it is the um the based on the true story in a loop? Is it like a pain song? Or are you just talking? Just nah, it's it's like a I'm taking you from that song. I'm taking you from when I first recorded my first song to the shit that I was dealing with and mm -hmm. where I'm at right now. And it's, that's why yeah. I'm playing that song because you can hear the growth as the song progresses, like. And to me, bro, I'm just punching in off the top. So for me to hear it back and, and it's in format and structured the right way, bro, I sometimes I, I sit back and be like, how the fuck did I do that? How? I bro, bro, you you two tapes in. Really, you three tapes in. If you count Bless the Booth. We talking Bless the Booth. Now, bless the Booth. <laughs> bless the Booth. Open mic. Sorry for the wait. And now based on the true story. Yeah, bro, you got, you got longevity. You got... You got your time in here, so you definitely grew over time. That's what it is. Nah, and you only gonna grow up, keep getting better. Nah, real shit. And that that's just the plan to keep flood and keep dropping shit. Like keep flooding and dropping shit, bro. Where it so up. with this tape, after after you know all the hype from the tape die down, um, what we trying to get? Like what we expecting? You got any visual shot already? You yeah, got more um, I might drop. I might drop the visual the same day the tape come out, or I might drop it a day after or a day before. Who knows? Yeah, what I think you should drop. I should. You should. What? Well, yeah, I think you should drop at least one video with the tape just to go along with it, or like a like a a teaser type shit. I don't. I nah, I got, the, I video, got the, the visual done. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm saying you might just drop it on hey, the look, same day too. I, hey, look, when I first called you, the shit was at like. I say four something, and this this the first. Well, let me flip the camera this way. That should be easier. That shit went up just a little bit, but hell yeah. That's what I'm saying, and that and that shit was just on some. 
I never promote. I never promoted and said I'm about to drop a song today, bro. I was literally smoking. I said, you know what? I feel like dropping a song. Drop you just like that. And that's why. That like, that's why I kind of love one thing about myself, bro. Is like when I see some shit in my head, I have to do it the way that I see it. Whether I whether it's beneficial or not, I have to get it out that way. Ninety nine percent of the time, it always been the most beneficial shit that worked. Mm -hmm. Wait, you said you said that you might put it on all DSPs. So is it just saying on SoundCloud? Are you going when you drop nah, it? Nah, just right now. It, it's it's only on YouTube right now. But me saying that. Oh, just YouTube. Actually, yeah, me saying it's doing something. So I'm like, now I might as well just throw that bitch on all DSPs. I was just, I was, I was just throwing that shit away, bro. I'm one of them type niggas where I might just throw some shit on YouTube. And it's fire. Oh, no, no, no. no. I'm, I'm talking about the tape. The tape, though. And you going to put that on all platforms or it's just going to be on YouTube? It's already on all platforms. It just got to... It's just the release date. The moment the release date uh, comes... The exact date is 1140, 11.45 a.m. Mm -hmm. 29th. Because I just searched... I just searched Javar on Apple Music. All the Jada Demon shit just popped up. But at least your shit... Your old shit pop up, too, with it. So people want to go back and look at it, though. Yeah, and I, I don't even know how the fuck that happened, but hey, God must know what he's doing. I don't know. Yeah, bro. Hey, I didn't type in Jacob Demon. I typed in Javar. That, all your Jacob Demon shit popped up. Yeah, so, that's what I'm saying. It's it's just, nah, we're... Mm -hmm. But um, before we end, I don't know if you want to show some unreleased, give a, a preview, your favorite song, favorite track, intro. Give us a little taste of what we could expect. Uh... What I might just do, shit, I don't need, let me see. Because you got four more days, you got to give it something. Four more days? Yeah. Let me see something real quick. I might, mm -hmm. I might give y'all something, I might not. We're going to see, we're going to see. Yeah, we're going to, we got to see how that shit boil out first. It's good, baby. Yes, yeah, sir. You know it. You know it, bro. Tom, I'm the best interviewer out here, nigga. Bro, say cheese who? Huh? Gilly Wallow who? What? No, oh, it's me. Nah, fuck. Hey, listen, dude. If they want snippets to anything that's on the tape, scroll on my page, Javar official page, Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. Everything. I just, listen, I just posted mad shit today and tomorrow, so. They got yeah, so if y'all want to see any content, go right on his page. He posting. He getting ready. He gearing up too. So now, nah, facts, facts. Um, yeah, hey, bro, man. Got, and also, also, also tell them that we we definitely got to get another random Zay. Oh yeah, bro. Definitely, we gonna sit down in person to get one with Javar. Hey, it's a whole different one. Now, nah, facts. One. Definitely, bro. But um, let them know where they can find you on YouTube. Your page already here, but just for people. Yeah, that every, every, everything, Javar official page, everywhere. That shit, everywhere. Mm -hmm. Same thing. And then for anybody that's listening, if you want to say one last word, like if you could give advice to anybody that's trying to, you feel me? What's the word, like? Bro, uh, on advice, if motherfuckers doing music and shit, no matter what genre you in, market your shit. Put the most money in marketing. Like you can mm -hmm. shoot, you can shoot a video. Instead of spending five a thousand dollars into what you're wearing, what's in a video, what car, you can shoot a video in your music room and put three hundred that same money you would have spent on all that extra shit into marketing. And now yeah. your video going bigger, you getting your money back, you got a bigger budget. So once you you understand that part, bro, you stop thinking about labels because now you put eight hundred and you get sixteen back. You put sixteen and you put sixteen and you get thirty two back. You yeah, can, you can, you is the label. You, you, think about yeah. it. You, you can recycle that money for the rest of the year. Mm -hmm. And right. another thing people don't know is too, like y'all gotta fuck with the little blog pages too, like not like little blog pages, but like it ain't just academics and world star out there. We got now, shit like fact, you got to man. To me, bro, it's about working with everybody that's on the same page, whether you. Oh, Top, yeah. bottom, middle. I don't even think about that. And that's why I, I'll be able to get where I'm going because I'm not worried about how many followers this person got, how much money this person got. Nah, we here to work, so let's work. Everything else, that ain't, that's for females to the beat and all that shit like that. Yeah. Anything else? If it ain't making you money, if it ain't helping you work, it got to go out the window. Point nah, 
Hell yeah. Did, bro, you got you got anything coming out? Do I got anything coming out, man? I'm yeah, you interviewing out. me. I gotta ask you something. Man, look, look, just know I'm back. I'm back around. We about to have a real crazy run. Definitely. I've been I've been talking to a lot of people. One thing you said you like to be humble about your shit. That's another thing with me. I'm real humble. I don't speak on a lot of shit that I be doing until it comes into fruition. I got I got some shit lined up. I just don't want to speak on it too soon. But just know these couple months leading into 2023, it's gonna be something. It's gonna be a real cook up. But once Hell 2023 yeah. comes, just listen to it, right? I'm drop I'm dropping this project Saturday, and I'm dropping another one on my son's birthday, which is November 27th. They know I'm gonna play. Yeah. They know that. And that's shit damn near done. I just need the cover art. And that bitch getting uploaded for pre sale. Man, how the cover art going to be? You going to have your son? You got to have a picture of you and your son on the cover art. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do for the second one. Yeah. Definitely. And I already got hella pictures with us and shit like that. So, And plus, I got a court date for my little nigga on the 1st of November. So my, my original court date was December 8th. But shit, bro, I might be, I might be able to get the nigga... In a couple weeks. Yeah, that's good. That's for real. That's good shit, bro. That's and 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 to that right there, to motherfuckers who don't know me, shit like that is bigger than anything else. Like me winning a custody battle is bigger than a Grammy, bigger than a million dollar check. This right here is my win. When I yeah. get him back, that's my W, bro. Anything else in life is just detail to me, bro. And that's why I be so at peace with everything. I don't got no ego. I don't got no hate in me. Bro, it should be you feel Because he going to be there in the long run, down the line. Everything else can fade away, but he going to be there at the end. So, nah, real that's shit. And I, I, be, actually, I, be, I actually, be. you was asking me what I got planned. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drop a little seed. So, 2023. Okay. Niggas is on a director shit. And I ain't talking about music videos. I'm talking about director shit. We, we making movies, we making shows, you gotta, doing you big get me shit. In with that. I'm trying, I'm trying to get with the Listen, shit. I'm trying bro, to get my acting on. I got you, bro. I got you. Niggas got their cars. We ain't staying in one location. We going to different locations. We filming, bro. Nah, everything. Niggas better stay tuned because I'm telling you, 2023, it's gonna be a hot fucking year. It's gonna be hot, bro. Hot. Okay. Nah, you like? Hell yeah, bro. That was the end of this live interview, y'all. Um, yes, sir. We had Javard. It was some good shit. He got his tape coming out soon. Hold on. Let's... In, show some love. Definitely hmm. got to do that. Yeah, bro. That shit come out YouTube, Saturday. Run the numbers up. Run the Instagram up. Run everything up. And stay tuned for more, y'all. Yeah, definitely get me to the rack egg before the night over. I love that. Rack egg in a day. On the plane drop. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. If y'all if y'all get me to a rack, bro, listen. That'll be love. We got we got four more hours, three more hours in the day, basically. Hell yeah. Based on the true yeah. story, EP 10, 29, 22. Y'all tap in.